Now, Chinese state media, like we said, the only reason for it to ever exist on YouTube, the, what we're going to show you is something from a Chinese state media YouTube channel, yeah. which is also broadcast on Chinese state TV within the borders of China, too. It does not have a state-sponsored label no. on YouTube. No. YouTube, you <laughs> promised that you would give <laughs> Chinese state-sponsored media a label so that people know what they're yeah. watching. Do so, what? anyway, this, um, this exists for one reason and one reason only, and that is to spread propaganda and soft power about China to you, the international audience. Yes. So we thought we'd help them a little bit by giving them a bit of a boost and looking at one of their shows. <laughs> so we're going to introduce you to... This is amazing. Yeah, we're going to introduce you to our host here that you can see behind us. His name is Rick, and we've actually talked about him before. Yeah, a long time ago. He's... You know, a guy who went to, where was it, Beijing or Shanghai, one Beijing, of the two, yeah. Beijing in the 90s, um, and was it in the 90s? I think so. I mean, he's he been was, there ages. Yeah. 30 years, maybe. Um, and he was like a radio DJ yeah. at uh, one of the state radio things yeah. for a while. And then remember, in he's English. he's very condescendingly decided that he was going to bring a mascot to China because China needs its own Hello Kitty. Yes. We'll get into that another and, time. And uh, yeah, he made that. this thing called Bao Bei. This is ridiculous. We talked about it. But yeah. anyway... Um, right now, it's pretty obvious what's going on in China when it comes to foreigners that are living in China. The ones that are left are being all being co-opted. doesn't matter who, what, when, where, or why. It doesn't matter if you're way past retirement age and should probably not be doing certain <laughs> things. You get dragged out and you're like, uh -huh. it's, they whip you again and say, come on, we need someone to do this. Yes. Um, so anyway, Rick here is now hosting a show. Which called Show Me China. It's called Show Me China. So it's amazing. Yeah, it's incredible. It's let's just let's watch. Yeah, it. we're gonna get ourselves out of here so you can watch a little bit. We're gonna come in. You trust me? We're gonna be in here for you yeah. know comments. But let's uh, let's start. Hello, everybody. I'm Rick. Show Me China has a special program today, bringing you more stories about delegates to CPC National Congress. The CPC National Congress. Today we invite a guest <laughs> host in Shanghai you see this though? and spend yeah. a day. It's all about <laughs> it's yeah. all about uh like it, it it's supposed to be like travel and stuff but then it's morphed into like oh we're gonna talk about the ccp's national congress who wants to know about no that one. no one no one like so what they did for this special yeah is they want to combat a lot of things right yeah. let me set the scene china's famous for not maintaining anything yes right we criticize it all the time. We often have an effect on their propaganda, mm. like when they show birds. <laughs> yes, we talk about the how time. there's no birds. So China's mm. maintenance is shit. Right? Yeah, Let's yeah. be honest. Buildings are falling down. Yeah. Stuff is let to rot. It floods all the time. It's shit. Right? Yeah. Infrastructure is not good. General maintenance nice. is, is actually very poor in it's China. It's very poor. So they put out this propaganda show, and they're like, let's get foreigners to talk about how China's maintenance is good on the subway system, yeah. right? Uh, they just had an accident, by the way, which yeah, is the yeah. irony of this. But yeah. anyway, um, they get this Rick guy who looks like he's in his 70s, which is fine, but it's like he's trying to look mad young. I that's I think that's that's my main takeaway from yeah. him because like this is like again we're not here to criticize people too much. <laughs> I mean, but um, when you're when you're an elderly gentleman, um, <laughs> you know, dyeing your hair and trying to look. Like you're a teenager or in your 20s is never a good look. I mean, that, no offense, but that is a used car salesman slash working at a casino. Well, I mean, anyway, let's, let's, let's see. We've got to give Rick a chance. Let's let him do okay. a show. So anyway, yeah. they, but they have to get foreigners involved. That's what we call white monkey jobs. Yeah. This is peak white this monkey. This is peak, peak. You'll see. They got a sp guy from Spain. Well, the guy is from Spain. I shouldn't do air yeah. quotes. But <laughs> yeah. listen, I just got to preface this. Yeah, you have to listen. They... They dubbed him over with a British accented Chinese man. Not just one. No, multiple. Multiple. So, yeah, we're going to let you watch this, but we have to forewarn you that, you see, Rick gets this other guy who's mm. like live on the scene, mm. who's Spanish. Who's not live on the scene. No. And uh, he's not, he's dubbed over yes. with the Chinese person speaking English. Yeah. So, well, let's just watch it's, it. it. It's incredible. It's yeah. Key. Yeah. Let's just see. More stories about delegates to CPC National Congress. The CPC National Congress. Today, we invite a guest host in Shanghai and spend a day with Hu Xiaoling, a delegate to the 20th CPC National Congress, in her everyday job. Our guest host? Antonio Milan from Spain is now in Shanghai and has arrived at the scene. Hello, Antonio. Are you in the subway station now? Yes, Rick. I'm at the Yuqiao Station Line 18 of the Shanghai Metro Tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to 
subway in China. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's difficult to I deal hope with. You guys can hear this properly. Uh, it's so bad. So he's. This is totally filmed separately. Mm, yeah. And just cut together. He's not yeah. live on the scene anywhere. And the I, the impression is he's supposed to be. This is my thought process. Yeah. It, the dubbed audio sounded like shit. Yeah. So they're like, they know that the recording capability sucks. So they're yeah. like, if we put a headset on him, it's gonna kind of be like, oh yeah, he's just in the station. He's talking through a microphone. And they, the voice isn't correct. They wanted some sort of British accent. So they got a Chinese well, guy this, with a British accent. No, no offense. We don't know this. This guy's English probably is awful. So we don't, we don't to, know. Maybe, they, they, maybe just, they had to. Anyway, one thing I do want to point out, being <laughs> being in this particular, you know, broadcasting game, yeah. is the fact that he's got three microphones on his desk, <laughs> but, he's but then he's lav. still wearing a la, 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 lapel microphone, a lav mic. <laughs> What's going on there, guys? I love what are you little, doing? These it's little like a drop. Prop. It's a mics. prop. It's those, <laughs> Why those three? three. Those three are a prop. What are you in? What are you a senator? Yeah, I don't understand. <laughs> but those are not functional. People's hall. I know. Anyway, let's no, get back. Go, no, go back to that part where he talks. Uh, what? Just yeah. Beginning? Just like I want, I want. This guy is great. I think he's a model. Probably, yeah. And I think he's just doing such a stand-up job with whatever limitations he's been given. Yeah. Well, let's see. Great. Let's see. Yes, Rick. I'm at the Yu Chao Station Line, A of the Shanghai Metro Tunnel. I just took the subway in China. It's very smooth and fast. Now I will meet He Xiaolan here, one of the managers who work at the tunnel. My, I, I mean, dude, that I just took the subway. It's very smooth and fast. Yeah, I mean, it's just a Chinese script. Yeah, translated into English, read by a Chinese English speaker. Yes, non-native. This poor guy has been dubbed over. Yes. They've neutered him. They're like, yes. you know what? Your English sucks. You're just good looking. You're just not good enough. Yeah. You just look the part. So we're yeah. going to say, we're going to put words in your mouth. Yes. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. Quite literally. Yeah. It gets better. Yeah, yeah. Let's take a look. I love Rick just nodding. The mission by today the is to yeah. experience a working shift with her. And her daily routine starts at midnight. Here she comes. <laughs> Go back to that. Yeah. He's... You like did he? You didn't even say here she comes. They like dubbed oh, that. Oh yeah! If over. you look, if you look at his mouth, watch his mouth. Today is to experience a working shift with her, and her daily routine starts at midnight. Here she comes. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Yeah. <laughs> That's actually his voice. Yes, now. yes. So listen to that. Yeah. He's supposed to be saying. Right? Yeah. But he doesn't speak Chinese. No. So he's memorized this line to use his own voice. Yeah. But he can't can't even say it in Chinese. Yeah. So you can now hear the dissonance between the dubbed voice and his real yeah. voice. Yeah. He said <laughs> Nima Dai Shinkula. Nima means Yeah, like, your mother. Like, like, That's actually like an in, he word. actually swore at her. <laughs> he swore at her. <laughs> he basically said like f your mom. Yeah, it says ni, ni ma, ni ma is and a da shinkula. Like yes. your your mother's like a big problem. <laughs> like how would you how would you translate it's a big, that? As a big hassle. Like yes. A big, like a big uh, a big suffering. Yes. <laughs> ni ma da shinkula. Ni ma da shinkula. I mean, it doesn't make yeah. sense. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Let's continue. Let's go to the tunnel with Miss Her. <laughs> That's a different voice. Yeah, yeah. Hey, do I look like a subway wonder man? <laughs> hey, do I look like a subway wonder man? <laughs> Why is subway wonder man? I don't, I don't actually what? know. <laughs> I feel like you do look like a Subway Wonder you, Man. You know what? Mm -hmm. If anyone in this world <laughs> looked like a Subway Wonder Man, it's you. What's his name again? Milan. I can't, yeah, Antonio Milan. Antonio. That Antonio. sounds fabricated, by the way. Like, <laughs> oh, we need a Spanish guy. What are we going to call him? Antonio, hmm, Antonio Milan. Milan. Yeah. And that's a city in Italy. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, you are absolutely a Subway Wonder Man. What the f does that even yeah, mean? I don't know, but I got to see it again. Hey, do I look like a subway wonder man? <laughs> just like, this is, okay. this is S tier. Yeah. This is, you know, like, it's been a little while since we yeah. found ridiculous, embarrassing Chinese propaganda. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. is S tier. I know. This is the top. It's the top. And also, I like oh. the fact that they mixed his voice with the dubbing voice. Yeah, the hey is him. When he jumps in, he's like, hey, that's his voice. Yeah. But then, like, the, the Chinese, the Chinese guy. guy comes and dubs him over. Hey, do I look like a subway wonder, man? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> you ready? Let's go. Let's go. Wow, so good. Wow, so good. <laughs> go back to that. Wait, oh, well. So it start from Wonder Man. Yeah. So Rick's Ricochet. Yeah. His name's Ricochet. By yeah, the way. yeah, it is Ricochet. It's his yeah. real name. Yeah. Right. Um, his reaction is that. Genuine. Like, I didn't cut that. No, no, that's just, no. Wow, so good. Let's see. Hey, do I look like a subway wonder man? Hey, do I look like a subway wonder man? Hmm. You ready? Let's go. Let's go. Wow, so good. Wow, so good. So, I take you to see a friend. Wow, so good. Yeah, I don't know, but I think that that's gonna have to be a soundbite from now on. Absolutely. Frickin That's a soundbite from now on. You know why? Because I've already made it. Okay, perfect. Part, <laughs> nice shot. Good thing. Right? Hey, Lao Shi. This is what? This is for the train to the train station. So they're, I guess they've manufactured the scene, right? Yeah. He's and they're like walk walking around. to the factory. Yeah. And then he's supposed to look like wow, like but he he does it too soon. He yeah. gets he gets excited too soon, he's so like, he has to wait oh, until wait. It, yeah. 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 He said, "Wama." This is for the train to the train station. Wama, just wait. Wama, just wait. It means my mom's going out. Yeah, I think he doesn't know how to say woman, so he says Wama instead of men. Yeah, yeah. It's like my my mom. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah